Fudbalski Club Crvna's Vizda, commonly known as Red Star Belgrade, or simply Red Star, is a Serbian professional football club based in Belgrade, the major part of the Red Star Sports Society and the most successful club in Serbia, with a record of 26 national championships and 24 national cups in both Serbian and ex-Yugoslav competitions. Red Star was also the most successful club in former Yugoslavia and finished as first in the Yugoslav First League all-time table. They are the only Serbian club to have ever won the UEFA Champions League, having done so in 1991, and the only team from the Balkans and Eastern Europe to have ever won the Intercontinental Cup, which it also won in 1991. In the following season, Red Star reached the semi-finals of the European Cup. Before they reached 1957, 1971, the semi finals, as well as 1958, 1974, 1981, 1982, 1987, the quarter finals of the European Cup. In 1979, they reached the UEFA Cup final, but lost to Borussia Ma Paragraph and Changlad Batch. Also, they reached in 1975 the semi finals of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup. Red Star is the most successful club from the Balkans and Eastern Europe, being the only club which was both European and World Club champion. According to 2008 polls, Red Star Belgrade is the most popular football club in Serbia, with nearly 48.2% of the population supporting them. They have many supporters in all other former Yugoslavian republics and in the Serbian diaspora. Their main rivals are fellow Belgrade side Partizan. The championship matches between these two clubs are known as the Eternal Derby. In September 2009, British Daily Mail ranked the Red Star Euro Partizan Derby fourth among the ten greatest football rivalries of all time. According to the International Federation of Football History and Statistics list of the top 200 European clubs of the 20th century, Red Star Belgrade is the highest ranked Serbian and ex Yugoslavian club sharing the 27th position on the list with Feyenoord. History In February 1945, during World War II, a group of young men, members of the Serbian United Anti-Fascist Youth League, decided to form a youth physical culture society, that was to become Red Star Belgrade on March 4. At the end of the Second World War, several pre-war Yugoslav clubs were dissolved because they had played matches during the war and were labeled collaborators by Marshal Tito's communist authorities. Two of these clubs from Belgrade were SK Yugoslavica and BSK Belgrade. Red Star was formed from the remains of Yugoslavica and they were given Yugoslavica's stadium, offices, players, and even their red and white colors. The name Red Star was assigned to the club after a long discussion, and the first vice presidents of the Sport Society, Zoran Angstrom won half Arjovia and Slobodan Ozia, were the ones who assigned it. Red Star was soon adopted as a symbol of Yugoslavia and Serbia, a sporting institution that remains the country's most popular to this day. On that day, Red Star played the first football match in the club's history against the 1st Battalion of the 2nd Brigade of KNOJN1, 3 Euro 0. Red Star's first successes involved small steps to recognition. The club won its first championship in 1953. It was a team of players such as Bera, Durkovia, Stankovia, Popovia, Misha, Kostia and Angstra Mikularak. Those football players, whose names are still remembered, won four Yugoslav championships and two cups, not missing the opportunity to win every Yugoslav trophy for five straight seasons. As champions, Red Star were Yugoslavia's entrance into the 1957 a Euro 58 European Cup where they were famously beaten, 5 a Euro 4, on aggregate by English champions Manchester United in the quarter-finals, with the team managed by Matt Busby beating Red Star, 2 a Euro 1, in the first leg in England before drawing, 3 a Euro 3, with them in Yugoslavia in the return game on February 5 at JNA Stadium. The second leg is notable for being the last game played by the Busby Babes. On the return flight to England the following day, the plane crashed in Munich, West Germany, resulting in the deaths of 23 people including eight Manchester United players. In 1958, Red Star won its first European trophy, the Mitropa Cup, who had been played during summer, in the break between the seasons. 
following the Mitropa Cup, one of the most influential figures in Red Star's history began to emerge as a force for change in the club. Miljan Miljania was a football player in Red Star in the 1950s, but it was during his tenure as head coach in the summer of 1966 that he achieved fame. In the first season, he completely changed the club's lineup of players and the club finished fifth in the table, the same as in the previous year. Afterwards, the generation led by Dragan Dar three quarters Aja, officially the best player in the history of Serbia and one of the best left wingers in the history of the world, began to leave a deep mark on Yugoslav and Serbian football. After the Miljania era, it was not before the time of Gojo Zek, whose reign as head coach was to last four years and bring Red Star three trophies and the first great European final. The first season with Gojo Zek at the helm was quite literally a real demonstration of force a Euro the league was won with an advantage of nine points over all rivals, which was, up to that moment, the biggest margin of victory in the history of the league. In the following season, Red Star finished second in the league, paving the way for a great performance in the 1978 Euro 1979 season of the UEFA Cup. After eliminating teams like Arsenal, West Bromwich and Hertha BSC, Red Star achieved for the first time the cup final. And there, Red Star met on Barusha Ma Paragraph and Chunglad Batch, which played five European finals from 1973 a Euro 1980. The Germans, awaited about 100,000 fiery supporters, fallen residues by a goal from Marlo Angstrom Estia, but Uria Euro Euro unregistered trademark S gave Gladbach a psychological advantage before the rematch. This game was played at the Rien Stadion in Dar one quarter Seldorf, where Italian referee gave a questionable penalty to the Germans, and the Danish player Alan Simonsen sealed Red Star's fate. The Foles won, to a Euro 1, on aggregate. After the 1970s, historical matches against Udo Latika Euro 1 registered trademark S Barcelona followed during the 1982 a Euro 83 European Cup Winners' Cup. In both matches Barcelona was the better team and Red Star was finally eliminated. Remarkably was, when Barra section or Euro unregistered trademark S Maradona scored his second goal in front of about 100,000 spectators at Maracana, the Belgrade audience was so excited about the goal, that even the loyal Belgrade fans applauded Maradona. Gojo Zek returns to the team in 1983 finding only one player from the champions generation he was coaching back in 1977 a Euro Marlo Angstrom Estia. Zek similarly repeated the team a Euro unregistered trademark S triumph from his previous mandate by winning the championship immediately upon his arrival. Gojo Zek would later leave the club in a controversial Libas case style scandal which was the result of irregularities in the 1986 season. After Zek left in 1986, there were great changes in the club. The management of the club, run by Dragon Dar Three Quarters Aja and Vladimir Kvitkervia, began to build a team that could compete with some of the most powerful European side. During that summer, Volaba Vasovia became coach and a side was strengthened by acquiring a number of talented young players, among whom Dragon Starkovia and Borislav Kvitkervia stood out. In the first season that started with penalty points, Red Star focused on the European Cup and achieving good results. In 1987, a five-year plan was developed by the club with the only goal being to win the European Cup. All that was planned was finally achieved. On the club's birthday in 1987, it started. Real Madrid were defeated at Maracana. From that day through to March 1992, Red Star enjoyed the best period of success in its history. In these five seasons, Red Star won four national championships. In the last of those four years of heyday, the club won the 1991 European Cup final which was played in Bari. Red Star coach Petrovia brought the team to Italy a week before the finals, in order to peacefully prepare the players for a forthcoming encounter with Olympique. By that time, Red Star had 18 scores at eight matches, whereas the French champion had 20. Therefore, the 100th European competing final was expected to be a spectacle of offence. Nonetheless, both Petrovia and Goethals opted for a defence and the match settled down into a war of attrition. After a 120-minute game and only few chances on both sides, the decision was made following the penalty shootout. 
After several minutes of stressful penalties, two of Marseille's players missed their penalties, and Darko Parnelov converted his penalty and brought the European Cup to Yugoslavia for the first time. Red Star won the shootout, 5 Euro 3, on May 29, 1991 in front of 60,000 spectators and the millions watching on television around the world. 20,000 Red Star fans at Stadio San Nicola and millions of them all over Yugoslavia and the world celebrate the greatest joy in Red Star a Euro unregistered trademark S history. Sadly the night of the 1991 European Cup final was to prove to be one of the final times that Yugoslavia could come together to celebrate as one. They won unbeaten the 1990 Euro 91 European Cup in Bari and the 1991 Intercontinental Cup in Tokyo. In 1992, the club was weakened by the departure of almost the whole champions' generation. In addition, Red Star had to defend the trophy out of their country due to the war in former Yugoslavia, thereby reducing their chances of defending their title. UEFA changed the form of the championship that year and instead of the cup they started the 1991 Euro 92 Champions League, in which eight best teams from the continent participated. In domestic competition, main rival Dinamo Zagreb left the league, just as all the other clubs from Croatia, Macedonia and Slovenia did, and the championship in a Yugoslavia that was cut in size was played on the edge of observance of regulations around the beginning of the Bosnian War. At the end of May the UN had the country under sanctions and dislodging Yugoslav football from the international scene. The disintegration of Yugoslavia, the civil war, the inflation and the UN sanctions have hit Red Star hard. In the period between May 1992 and May 2000, only one championship victory was celebrated at Maracana. However, they did manage to win five cups, along with several glorious European performances, including the famed 1996 UEFA Cup Winners' Cup showdown against an FC Barcelona side which featured Ronaldo and Hristo Stoichkov. Immediately after the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia ended, Red Star won the 17th Cup in its history by winning 4-2 against Partizan. Just a season later, the club returned to the European spotlight by making it to the 2001 Euro 02 UEFA Champions League qualification, where Red Star was eliminated by Bayer from Leverkusen, which would later be a finalist in the Champions League that year. Muslin left the bench in September 2001, after which Red Star's subsequent seasons became more volatile. In the 2006 Euro 07 UEFA Champions League qualifying rounds, Red Star was barely eliminated same AC Milan side which ended up winning the 2007 UEFA Champions League final. Furthermore, the campaign in Group F of the 2007 Euro 08 UEFA Cup was a large disappointment, especially given that the first game against Bayern Munich was a sensational last-minute loss. In those recent years, Red Star's teams featured the likes of Angstrom 1 half Ajaya, Pantelia, Jankovia, Lukervia, Basta, Bia Evac, Milliger, Co Roman, Castillo, Gua, and Lokaya. After a six-year drought, Red Star won their 26th league title in season 2013 a Euro 14. Despite Red Star's success on the pitch in 2013 a Euro 14, the financial situation at the club has worsened a Euro so much so that the club were banned from participating in the 2014 a Euro 15 UEFA Champions League for which they qualified by winning the Serbian Superliga. The UEFA club financial control body found that Red Star's debts to players some of whom had not been paid for at least six months, staff and other clubs, totaled a 1.86 million. The club board were also alleged to have hidden debts and falsified documents. This, on top of an earlier UEFA disciplinary measure in 2011, meant Red Star did not meet the necessary club licensing and financial fair play criteria and, as such, should not have been granted a UEFA license by the Serbian FA. Rivals Partizan took Red Star's place in the UEFA Champions League. Crest and Colors At the end of the World War II, several of pre-war Yugoslav clubs were dissolved because they had played matches during the war and were labeled collaborators by Marshal Tito's communist authorities. One of these clubs were SK Yugoslavija from Belgrade. Red Star was formed from the remains of Yugoslavija and they were given their red and white colors. 
The typical kit of Red Star is a shirt with red and white vertical stripes, and red or white shorts and socks. Sometimes used the club also an all red one next to the all white one. Red Star used also as a way kit or third kit, an all blue jersey, but very rarely, so that the club used all the colors of the Serbian flag. The crest is a red five pointed star, white framed, on a red white background. In addition, the whole crest is framed with gold color. In two golden stars on the top of their emblem, symbolizing the 20 titles won. Stadium Red Star's home ground is the Red Star Stadium. With a maximum capacity of about 60,000, of which 55,538 seats, it is the largest stadium in Serbia and in the former Yugoslavia. The stadium was opened in 1963, and in the course of time and due to the fact that stadium's former capacity was about 110,000, it got the unofficial moniker Maracana, after the large and famous Maracana Pound Stadium in Brazil, and Belgrade sold out Maracana garnered the reputation of being a very tough ground for visiting teams to play in. During the mid-90s, in order to meet UEFA demands for spectators' comfort and security, standing places at the stadium were completely done away with and seats were installed on all four stands. In the years, since the stadium's capacity was gradually decreased, followed different stadium modernizations. In 2008, the club reconstructed the stadium's pitch, under soil grass heaters, improved drainage systems were installed and new modern turf replaced the old surface. The training pitch, located next to the stadium, was also renovated by laying down synthetic turf and installing new lighting equipment. In 2011, the stadium received also a new modern LED scoreboard. Today, the stadium has a central lodge, named Five Zvizdina Zvizda, which consists of five segments, each bears the name of one of Red Star's legendary players, two other VIP lounges and a special VIP gallery with over 450 seats. It is also modern press box with a capacity of 344 seats including seven extra comfortable seats, an extra media center, the Red Cafe and a restaurant. On the west stand of the stadium exists also an official Red Star shop along with a Delid shop. The playing field measures are 110x73 am, and is illuminated at 1,400 lux floodlights. According to the known German web portal Stadionalt, belongs Belgradia Euro unregistered trademark S. Maracana to the top 50 football stadiums in Europa, that must be seen. In 2012, American Bleacher Report ranked the Red Star Stadium, especially if Eta Euro unregistered trademark S sold out, on the first place among the most intimidating stadiums in the world. Youth School, see also, Red Star Belgrade Academy. Red Star's team was always formed out of its youth players and by bringing young, talented footballers, mainly from other Serbian clubs, like Dragon Stavkovia, but also from other Yugoslav clubs, like Robert Prozajniki, into the team. During its history, the club had continuously developed numerous professional football players. Probably its most notable homebred footballers are definitely Dragon Dar three quarters Aja, officially the best player in the history of Serbia, who achieved the third place at the election for the European Footballer of the Year in 1968, and is part, next to players like Zidane, Van Basen and Bekkenbola, of the greatest European Championship eleven of all time, elected by Goal.com. Dragoslav Angstra Mikularak, who was runners-up with Yugoslavia at 1960 European Football Championship, Vladimir Petrovia Pia three-quarters on, Vladimir Jugovia, who was two times European champion, Nemanja Vidya, who won with Manchester United the Champions League, as well as Dejan Stankovia with Inter Milan, and Duan Savia, retired. Another former players were Stanislav Karasi, Vladika Popovia, Vladislav Bojia Evaya, the brothers Boako and Miko Ayurovsky, Zoran Filipovia, Ratomir Dushevia, Ogenjen Petrovia, followed by Stevan Stojanovia, the goalkeeper of the European Cup winner generation from 1991, and striker Milo Angstrom Estia. Further notable players from the recent past are former Real Madrid player Perica Ogenjanovia, Naboja Akrutnikovia, Goran Drilaya, Zoran Jovia Ia, Vladin Lukia, Goran Gavrena Ia, Nikola Lazisha and Ivan Dudia. 
Further are Marco Pantelia, Boa Kojankovia, Duan Basta, Nenad Tumovia, Zvonko Milajevia, Philip Inora Levia, Vujadin Savia, Jago Avakervia, Vladimir Starkovia, Euro Anosia, Nenad Lalitovia, Dragon Ray, Dejan Milovinovia, and Vladimir Dialjankovia. Former Red Star and Real Madrid football coach legend Miljan Miljania was also a member of Red Star a Euro unregistered trademark S Football Youth School. Supporters The organized supporters of Red Star are known as Delij, the plural of the singular form Delija, which in Serbian generally signifies a courageous, brave, strong or even handsome young man. A rough English translation might be simply Hardman, or Stads. The name Delij first began to be used by hardcore Red Star supporters during the late 1980s, with official inauguration taking place in 1989. Up to that point, the Red Star fans were scattered amongst several organized fan groups that shared in the north stand of Red Star Stadium. The Delij belongs today to one of the most famous supporter groups in the world, who support all clubs in the Red Star Sports Society. Their style of supporting includes the use of large and small flags, displaying of banners and especially the creation of colorful and large choreographies, noisy and constant cheering and other supporters' stuff. The acoustic support is often coordinated by a so-called voja by a megaphone and accompanied by drums. Delij members exist also outside of Belgrade, as well exist various fan groups in cities across Serbia, Montenegro and Bosnia and Herzegovina. They also have members in all other former Yugoslavian republics and in the Yugoslavian diaspora. As a sign of appreciation, Red Star painted in the late 1990s, the word Delij in block letters across their stadium's north stand. The Eternal Derby Red Star a Euro unregistered trademark s fiercest and long-standing city rival is FK Partizan, the other large and popular sports society in Serbia. The clubs are also the most popular ones in Montenegro and Republika Srpska. They also have many supporters in all other former Yugoslavian republics and also in the Yugoslavian diaspora. The rival started immediately after the creation of the two clubs in 1945. Red Star was founded with close ties to the Interior Ministry and Partisan as the football section of the Yugoslav People's Army. Since then, both clubs have been dominant in domestic football. The match is particularly noted for the passion of the Red Star a Euro unregistered trademark S supporters, called Delij, and Partizan a Euro unregistered trademark S supporters, the Groberi. The stands of both teams feature fireworks, colored confetti, flags, rolls of paper, torches, smoke, drums, giant posters and choreographies, used to create visual grandeur and apparently psychological pressure on the visiting teams. Hence the slogan Welcome to Hellgrade. Some fans use sometimes also trumpets, similar to the supporters in South America. This creates for the region a typical and distinctive Balkan brass band atmosphere. Both sets of supporters sing passionate songs against their rivals, and the stadiums are known to bounce with the simultaneous jumping of the fans. There are many derbies in world football, but very few compared to this, it is more than just game and has a deeper meaning. The duel is regarded as one of the greatest football rivalries in the world and the matches between these rivals have been labeled as the Eternal Derby. Given its widespread touch on the entirety of a major city, it's dubbed one of, along with the Old Firm, the Rome Derby and the Istanbul Derby, the most heated rivalries in European football. In 2009, British Daily Mail ranked the Eternal Derby fourth among the ten greatest football rivalries of all time. The biggest attendance for a Red Star, partisan match was about 108,000 spectators at the Red Star Stadium. Honours and achievements, Red Star has won two international trophies two regional and 50 domestic making them the most successful football club in Serbia and former Yugoslavia. Domestic, National Championships a Euro 26, Yugoslav First League, winners, 1951, 1953, 1956, 1957, 1959, 1960, 1964, 1968, 1969, 1970, 1973, 1977, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1988, 1990, 1991, 
1992. First League of FR Yugoslavia First League of Serbia and Montenegro, winners, 1995, 2000, 2001, 2004, 2006. Serbian Superliga, winners, 2007, 2014. National Cups A Euro 24, Yugoslav Cup, winners, 1948, 1949, 1950, 1958, 1959, 1964, 1968, 1970, 1971, 1982, 1985, 1990. FR Yugoslavia Cup Serbia and Montenegro Cup, winners, 1993, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1999, 2000, 2002, 2004, 2006. Serbian Cup, winners, 2007, 2010, 2012. International, Red Star is the most successful club from Serbia in all European competitions, and the only club from Eastern Europe that has won both UEFA Champions League and Intercontinental Cup. The club competed in 50th European seasons, and the most notable results are, international titles a Euro 4, European Cup Champions League, winner, 1991. Intercities Bears Cup UEFA Cup UEFA Europa League, runners-up, 1979. Mitropa Cup, winner, 1958. 1968. Intercontinental Cup, winner, 1991. UEFA Super Cup, runners-up, 1991. Other tournaments, 16, individual awards, domestic, Yugoslav First League Top Scorers, FR Yugoslavia First League Top Scorers, Serbia and Montenegro First League Top Scorers, Serbian Super League Top Scorers, Yugoslav Footballer of the Year, Vladimir Petrovia Dragon Starkovia Dragon Starkovia Robert Prozianiki, Sport Person of the Year in Yugoslavia, Dragon Dar Three Quarters Aja Dajan Savia Eva Serbian Super League of Footballer of the Year, Nenad Milija International, Ballon Dog, Second Dajan Savia Eva Second Darko Pana Ev, Third Dragon Dar Three Quarters Aja European Golden Boot, Darko Pana Ev, Golden Player, Dragon Dar Three Quarters Aja FIFA Best Young Player Award. Robert. Prozianiki, UEFA Euro Player of the Tournament, Dragon Dar Three Quarters Age a UEFA Euro Top Scorer, Dragon Dar Three Quarters Age a UEFA Euro Team of the Tournament, Vladimir Dukovia, Bora Kostya, Dragoslav Angstrom Akularak, Dragon Dar Three Quarters Age a Club Records. Dragon Dar Three Quarters Age is Red Star a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Record Appearance Holder with 615 matches. The goal-scoring record holder is also Dragon Dar three-quarters Aja, with 370 goals. Numerous Red Star a Euro unregistered trademark S players were in the Yugoslavia national team and Rajo Misha, Dragoslav Angstrom Akularak, Dragon Dar three-quarters Aja, Branko Stankovia, Vladimir Dukovia, Vladika Popovia, Jovanoj Movia, Vladimir Petrovia, Tomislav Ivkovia, Duan Savia, Milo Angstrom Estia, Dragon Starkovia and Dejan Savia Evaya are among them. Dragon Dar Three Quarters Aja played 85 matches for the Yugoslavia national football team, a national record. Red Star holds records such as to be only the second foreign team that could beat Liverpool on the Anfield Road, which was also the only defeat of Liverpool at home in the European Cup history in the whole 20th century. Red Star was also the first team that could beat Bayern Munich on the Olympic Stadium in its long UEFA competition history. They are the only Serbian club, and only the second team from this southern corner of Europe and Eastern Europe, to have ever won the European Cup, having done in 1991, which was also the 100th UEFA competing final. Red Star is among the nine clubs, which have ever won the European Cup and beaten. They are also the only team from the Balkans and Eastern Europe to have ever won the Intercontinental Cup, which it won also in 1991. Red Star is the most successful club from the Balkans and Eastern Europe being the only club to win both UEFA Champions League and Intercontinental Cup. Maya Dragbelodidici was the first ever Red Star player who won European Cup with two different teams, Stoa and Red Star, 
and very curious the both the name is a star. Later, the double winners were also Dejan Savia Evaya and Vladimir Jugervia top 10 scorers of all time, last updated on, October 25, 2013, top 10 most appearances of all time, last updated on, October 25, 2013, club all-time European record. As of August 8, 2013, UEFA ranking, as of May 11, 2014, best results in European competitions, biggest win in UEFA competition. Current squad, as of July 4, 2014. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Players with dual citizenship, Sevo Pavia Eva are foreign players, Daniel Ivramovsky, Ifane Onayilo. For recent transfers, see List of Serbian Football Transfers Summer 2014. Retired number, S. 12 A Euro Delij, Club Officials, Technical Staff, Club Management, updated December 21, 2012. Coaching History, for details see List of Red Star Belgrade Football Coaches. Club Presidents Notable Players Stars of Red Star Red Star has almost a 50-year-long tradition of giving the title of the Star of Red Star to the players that had a major impact on the club's history and have made the name of the club famous around the globe. So far, five players in the entire 1991 team were officially given the title. They are, the first Star of Red Star, Rajo Misha the second Star of Red Star, Dragoslav Angstra Mikularak, the third star of Red Star, Dragon Dar three quarters Aja, the fourth star of Red Star, Vladimir Petrovia Pia three quarters on, the fifth star of Red Star, Dragon Stalkovia Pixi, the sixth star of Red Star, the 1991 European Cup winner generation, the 1991 European and World Champions generation, coach, Ljupko Petrovia, born in Brusnica Velika, senior Bosnia and Herzegovina, Spent his playing career in Yugoslavia with Osijek in the 1970s, and in the United States playing indoor soccer during the early 1980s. In 1982 he returns to Yugoslavia and starts his coaching career at youth levels of his former club Osijek. In 1984 he becomes assistant manager at Spanish side Espanyol and soon returned to Osijek now to become the main manager for three years. Later he spends one season with Spartak Subotica before coaching Yugoslav national team youth levels during 1987 and 1988. Next he manages Vovodina between 1988 and 1990 and archives an exceptional result by winning with them the Yugoslav Championship in 1989. This success will open the door for him to Red Star who bring him and Simula Mihailovia from Vovodina. After winning the European and Intercontinental Cups with Red Star, he coaches numerous clubs throughout the world. Goalkeepers, Stevan Stojanovia, born in Kosovska Mitrovica, senior Serbia, was Red Star goalkeeper for almost a decade. He later played with Royal Antwerp and Belgium. He was Yugoslav U21 and Olympic international. Milja Jovanovia, born in Belgrade, senior Serbia, came to Red Star from the Predak, and later played during the 1990s in Portugal. Angstrom one half ELJK Ocalarovia, born in Bar, senior Montenegro, came to Red Star from Morna. He later played with Jergi NRDEN in Sweden. Defenders, Maya Dragbelodici, born in Sokol, Romania, was the only foreigner in Red Star that season, although his family was part of the Serbian minority in Romania. He came to Red Star after defecting from Kozescu's regime in 1988. By the time he came, he already won the European Cup with Stoa in 1986, and five Romanian championships, and was an established player of the Romanian national team. After three seasons in Belgrade, he continued his career in Spanish La Liga with Valencia, Valladolid and Villarreal, before finishing his career in Mexico playing with Atlante. He made over 50 appearances for the Romanian national team and was part of Romanian squad at the 1994 World Cup, 1,996 Euro and 2,000 Euro. Slobodan Maravia, born in Bar, senior Montenegro, played with Osijek before joining Red Star. Afterward he continued his career in Sweden, Denmark and China. 
he was a Yugoslav international. Later between 2010 and 2012 he was assistant manager at Red Star while Prozionik he was the coach. Ivica Moma Ilovia, born in Bozic, senior Serbia, played with Napredak before joining Red Star. Afterward he played in Cyprus and Sweden. Ilija Nordeski, born in Kruoevo, senior Macedonia, was one of the main Varda players during the 1980s. He joined Red Star in 1988. After four seasons with the Red and Whites he moved to Spain where he played two seasons in La Liga with Valladolid. He later played with Denis Lisper, CSKA Sofia and FC Sin before retiring. He was Yugoslav international, and later during the mid-1990s one of the main players of the Macedonian national team. Duoko Radinovia, born in senior Montenegro, played with OFK Titograd and Sidjeska before joining Red Star. Afterward he played in Sweden. Refik Angstrom Abinada three-quarters Ovia, born in Tuzi, senior Montenegro, a Montenegrin Bosniak, he played with Angstrom one half Elgizia Sarajevo where he became one of their main players during mid-1980s and a Yugoslav national team player. He came to Red Star in 1987 and played four seasons in Belgrade. Later he moved to Greece where he played seven seasons in the very top of Greek football with AEK Athens and Olympiakos. He finished his career in the United States. He was a member of the Yugoslav 1988 Olympic squad and played in the 1990 World Cup. Goran Vasilijevia, born in senior Serbia, played with Zimon and Radnia Kinia before coming to Red Star. Later he played in Bulgaria and Japan. Midfielders Sinja Lamijlovia, born in Vukova, senior Croatia, a Serb from Croatia, started playing with a local club, Borovo, from where he moved to Vovodina. He was part of Vovodina Golden Generation that won the Yugoslav Championship in 1989. A year later he came to Red Star and became one of the more influential and charismatic players. In 1992 when economical and sports sanctions were imposed to FR Yugoslavia not allowing its teams to compete internationally, he moved to Italy where he played the rest of his career with Serie A teams Roma, Sampdoria, Lazio and Inter. He is considered by specialists as one of the best free kick takers of all time. He played 63 MTCHES and scored 10 goals for the Yugoslav national team and was present at the 1998 World Cup and Euro 2000. After retiring he became a coach. Milorad Radkervia, born in Zenica, senior Bosnia and Herzegovina, was one of the star players of Arek Zenica during the 1980s from where he came to Red Star in 1990. Besides a loan to Borac Banja Luka, he later played in Spain with Kelta Virgo and Sevilla. Vlada Stoia, born in Vrnji, senior Serbia, was only 19 when he came to Red Star in 1984. He stayed in the club until the winter break of the 1991 Euro 92 season when he moved to Spain and played with Mallorca and Batis during the mid 1990s. Then, in 1997, he joined Belododici in Mexico and played a season with him at Atlante. He finished his career in Portugal with Vitoria Setubal. He played one match for the Yugoslav national team in 1990. Ray Toia, born near Ugljevic, senior Bosnia and Herzegovina, played most of the 1980s with Sloboda Tisla. He became Yugoslav national team player and joined Hajduk Split in 1988. Red Star brought him from Hajduk in 1990. After two seasons with Red Star, he continued his career in Spain with Mar Copyright Ryder and Caitlin. Vladimir Jugovia, born in Mila Tervak, senior Serbia, was one of the main Yugoslav players during the 1990s. He came young to Red Star, however, in three seasons he won it all. He joined Sampdoria in 1992, later Juventus, Lazio and Inter, and will play in the Italian Serie A until 2001, with the exception of the 1998 Euro 99 season that he will play in the Spanish La Liga with Atla copyright Tico Madrid. He played 41 matches for the Yugoslav national team, scoring on three occasions, and was present at the 1998 World Cup and Euro 2000. Robert Prozianiki, born in Schweningen, West Germany, was a son of Yugoslav emigrants. 
still in Germany he started playing in the youth team of Stuttgarter Kickers. In 1980 he returned with his family to Yugoslavia and joined Dinamo Zagreb. He debuted for Dinamo senior team in 1986 a Euro 87, however in the next season he was brought to Belgrade to Red Star. Umeditelli established himself as one of the most talented Yugoslav youngsters, a fame which will be confirmed by his exhibitions at the 1987 FIFA Youth Championship where he helped Yugoslav team win the gold and got himself acclaimed as tournament's best player. He was among the crucial players of Red Star during his four seasons in the club. In the meantime he also became Yugoslav national team player and played in the 1990 World Cup where he got the title of the best young player. With all this, it was no surprise his move to Real Madrid in 1991. After three seasons in Madrid, he played another three seasons in Spanish La Liga, with Oviedo, Barcelona and Sevilla, one season each. By this time the old Yugoslavia got dismembered, and Prozi chose to represent his father country, Croatia. He became a regular in the Croatian national team and played with them in the Euro 1996, 1998 World Cup and 2002 World Cup. After retiring he became a coach, and coached Red Star between 2010 and 2012. Dejan Savia Evaya, born in Titograd, senior Montenegro, was playing with Bidua Nost when during the season 1987 Euro 88 he became chased by major Yugoslav clubs. The back then 21-year-old talented youngster at the end of the season ended up signing with Red Star and will become one of club's legends. He was only 20 when he debuted for the Yugoslav national team and since then became a regular. He stayed three and a half seasons with Red Star, a period which was crowned with the 1991 European Cup and him winning the Ballon d'Or in 1991. Besides, he was awarded as the Yugoslav best athlete that same year. In 1992 he joined AC Milan and stayed in San Siro for the next six and a half years. With Milan he won in 1994 the Champions League and the European Super Cup, besides three Serie A titles and two Italian Super Cup titles. He became known by the Milan fans as Maestro and one of his main HIGHLGHTS was the incredible goal he scored against Barcelona in the 1994 Champions League final. He left Milan during the 1998 Euro 99 winter break and joined again Red Star. However, he stayed only half a season, and left to Rapid Wien where he played two more seasons before retiring. During the entire 1990s he was among the main players of the Yugoslav national team, and has played in the 1990 and 1998 World Cups. After retreating for a period he became a coach and coached FR Yugoslavia national team, and he is the president of the Montenegrin Football Association since 2004. Strikers, Darko Parnev, born in Skopje, senior Macedonia, started playing with Varda Skopje in 1982 and became Yugoslav first league topscorer in the 1983 Euro 84 season being only 19. Red Star brought him in summer 1988 and during the four seasons he spent in Belgrade, he became club's main goal scorer. He was again Yugoslav Championship top scorer in three seasons in a row between 1989 until 1992, and he will win the European Golden Boot in 1991. He made 91 appearances and scored 84 goals in the league for Red Star. In 1992 he signed with Inter, however he didn't adapt it well in Italy, and later played in Germany and Switzerland before finishing his career. Regarded as one of the best Macedonian players ever, he was a regular in the Yugoslav national team DURNG the late 1980s and played with Yugoslavia in the 1990 World Cup. Later he played for the Macedonian national team in their first matches between 1993 and 1995. After retiring he worked in the Macedonian Football Federation and has been the sports director of Varda. Dragia Abinja, born in Kruojevac, senior Serbia played with Napredak and Radnia Kinia before joining Red Star in 1987. He played with Red Star only one season and will play with French side Brest and Spanish Levante before returning to a second spell with Red Star in what will be a European Cup winning season. After that season he moved abroad again playing with a number of clubs such as Slavia Prague, APOEL and Nagoya Grampus. He played for the Yugoslav national team in 1990 and 1991. 
Vladan Lukia, born in Sopot, senior Serbia, came to Red Star in 1986 aged only 16. His great scoring abilities made him become a regular in the Yugoslav national team in 1991, however his luck turned around in a match against Austria when he got an injury. He left Red Star in 1993 when he joined Atla Copyright Tico Madrid. During his career until 2000 he also played with Vovodina, OFK Belgrade, Marbella, Sin, Mets and Paniliakos. In 1998 he played two more games for FR Yugoslavia national team. After retiring he became the chairman of his hometown club, FK Support, and between 2009 and 2012 he was Red Star president. More notable players, to appear in this section a player must have either, played at least 80 matches for the club. Has senior national team appearances. Kit manufacturers and shirt sponsors, in popular culture, the popular Serbian folk singer Bobin Stravkovia, devoted during the 90s to Red Star a song with the name Maricano. Among the Red Star fans the song become to a cult. The team gives its name to Italian book Crvenas Vizda, Enrico Varacan. The novel is based on a football uchronia involving AC Milan and Red Star, leading to a different historical background who prevents Silvio Berlusconi to win the elections in 1994. Billy Bragg's 1991 UK Top 30 hit song Sexuality contains the lyric I had an uncle who once played for Red Star Belgrade. When interviewed many years later Bragg was asked if this was true, to which he replied that his uncle actually played for Fulham but that did not fit the rhyme with played. Two non-related bands, one of them from Great Yarmouth, Great Britain, and the other one from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, United States, shared the name Red Star Belgrade. References External links, official, official website, Red Star Belgrade at FIFA, Red Star Belgrade at UEFA.